Hello everyone, my name is Night Corumbra and today I will show you how to install Subnautica multiplayer and to fix some bugs that people usually have with Hamachi and we will start right now. Uh, first you need to do is go to your internet browser and type Subnautica Nitrox and then you should click on this link Nexus Mods and click on download and this menu this is a uh, version 1.0.0.9 uh, they didn't update the site so it would say 0.9 so you click manual and you will need to register it will say uh, that you need to register now after doing that you go to your uh, to your download uh, download folder and there it is. Uh, you will get installation for it and just open it. Now, what I like to do is I have the Epic uh, Games launcher. So, it's the game is located here Pokemon Files, Epic Games, Subnautic. So, I will just copy the address and yeah, I have a. I have it already installed, so you just click next, next, and it will say uh, that you uh, need to point it to your Subnautica folder. So you want, what you want to do is delete the current path that, that there it is, and paste this one. And after that, uh, download. Uh, no, don't download. Just uh, just click uh, finish, and that's done. So, if you want to play with a friend and you're using Hamachi, uh, you and your friend need to connect to the to the network. I mean, your friend need to connect to your network. So, how you want to create a network? Click on create a new network and makes uh, make your network. I don't know. Uh, let's just say uh, Subnautica. Well, that's used. Sunbeam. Sunbeam. I don't know. And your friend needs to uh, needs to type Sunbeam and the password you put in. But uh, before the, uh, before clicking on the multiplayer option in the in the oh well, let's go. Uh, in the uh, in the semantic option, you need to go to the sub server and click Nitrox server. So the server is running, okay. And then you need to give your friend this IP, copy uh, IP before address. Don't copy yours, copy his. And when you're in Semantica, click on multiplayer uh, server, server name it will be I don't know anything you want. And for the IP address, it will be this one. That is your current IP. And if you're the host, you join from this IP. One I think that's the uh, that's the one you get on the Subnautica. It it will be local for your host. And everything is done, and then. You can connect. Your friend cannot connect to your server. Uh, you will get. You will need to ping your friend now. To ping your friend, you need to click on his name and click ping. If that, if it says, if it says this, where is it? Oh okay. Hold on a second. I need to find it. Uh, ah, there it is. If it says this. Request timeout. That means your firewall is blocking the connection. So what you wanna do, if you have Windows 10 or any other operating systems, uh, type firewall. Windows uh, check firewall status. So it, you need to turn it off. So what you wanna do is turn Windows Defender firewall and uh, and 
defender. Okay, you did that, and then you get this. Uh, when you ping your friend, you get this reply from IP address, and it works. Yes, nice. Everything is done. So uh, you join your friend, and then you don't have mobs. Why would I? Why would I not have mobs? Uh, host will have mobs, but the other player that joins will not have them. Why is that? Because Hamachi is a stupid client that does not allow direct tunnel. Most people will have relay tunnel, but you need direct tunnel. What does blue, uh, blue dot means? There is a relay tunnel between the client and the peer. You might have to set a static TCP or UDP port for Hamachi to use. So, what that means is just in the simple way to explain your out and in uh, bytes are very slow. Mobs will spawn but in time. And they will, they will not move at all. So why is that? Well, the relay tunnel limits your your upload and download speed of the how much. So how do I fix that? Well, first thing you need to do is delete Hamachi. Why? Because there is a newer, a newer, better VPN to use. Uh, better VPN to use than Hamachi that doesn't block your, uh, block your connection. And on this Hama on this VPN, it's practically the same as Hamachi. You create a network, everything that you give your friend that IP. Uh, that IP, everything is the same, and you activate the server, and your friend joins from that IP. So, if if, if the host doesn't have fish, you will need to put uh, this save nitrox in your folder. Where do I store it? Well, and again, basically, terms. you go to your sub server. And there will be folder uh, file located here. It's a save nitrox. You delete that one and put the put this one in. I will provide a link to it. And and everything is done. Everything is working. So hmm. uh, I will give the link to the Radmin VPN too, but. Uh, if you want, if you have any questions, you should go to the so, uh, to the Nitro, not Nitro, Discord, on the Discord server, uh, on the Discord server there will be there will be page, I mean it will be created. This one, Subnautica modding. Uh, Cookie will provide you with the link and. Her and some other people here are the helpers, and they can help you out here. So, if you have any questions, ask them or ask me on my phone. So, hmm. I might pause the video and see what else could I uh, could I add to the video. And there might be another problem when joining the server. Your friend. Uh, you can join to your host, right? You you are the host. You join your local uh, local IP, yes. But when your friend tries to join, uh, you see him way, 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 way far away, further away from you. Yeah. If that happens, that means it's the infinite loading screen bug. So how do you fix that, you may ask? Well, in the time, in this time zone, <laughs> in this time, you cannot fix it. You will need to wait for the further updates of the mod. So, yeah, for now you can fix it. But you can try to uh, to join his server. It may be it may be fixed like that, but we are not sure for now. And there's one more thing. If the fragments 
on the floor and buildings uh, disappear when closing the server. You will need to type in the console save in the console, not in the uh, not in the save menu. You type save and then you type exit, so it will automatically shut down the server. Uh, why do you need to do that? Uh, when you force the server to close on X, right? On the X, uh, it will corrupt the save and it will automatically generate the new one. So you will always start from the beginning. And I think that's all for now. That's the all stuff I can provide you. That's all information I have for now. So I would like to thank Cookie and and the other people that helped me here uh, to find out how to fix those bugs. Uh, Cookie will upload the video to her channel and it will be it will be soon I think. So thank you everybody for watching. And if you have any questions, ask on the Discord. Bye.